Hi all, so um, today uh, for this video we're in the woodlands. Um, the last couple of videos, the last two or three videos have been on the coast so I thought being in the woodland would make a nice change. Plus the fact it's really hot, we're on this middle of this heat wave and uh, photographing in the shade, really nice. So um, if you look at this little location, it doesn't immediately grab you as a great photography location. We've got loads of empty space around us there doesn't look to be a natural focal point, it's all a bit chaotic. And woodlands are like that sometimes. Um, it's not like shooting a, a big mountain vista where you've got mountains looming above you, or a, a seascape where the cliffs are rushing off into the distance with all the water crashing around. So woodlands are a lot more subtle. And if you look behind me, initially it doesn't look great. Um, it's not like it's uh, autumn time when we've got a, a lovely colourful carpet of uh, leaves on the floor adding to this picture. So it means we've got to work a lot harder to get a really nice picture. And that's great for this uh, vlog because I want to talk more about composition and how to get the most out of a location. Especially when um, at first glance it doesn't look that great. So if you look behind me, yes there's lots of empty space, there's not a major focal point but what we have got is a little stream running through the landscape so that little stream can act as a focal point and it can lead us through the picture so we're going to look on this vlog about how to make the most out of this location and to really come up with a picture that goes bang and it looks great and you go wow this looks nice from this location even though initially you go yeah not really exciting so we're going to look at different compositional tools we can use to make this picture work and to start with the first thing we're going to do is to get close to our stream because we've already identified that as being the main focus of our attention that's the thing that's going to make this picture look good because we've got a little bit of water running through and we get reflections on the water and it adds as a leading line and it can lead us through the picture so my first uh, thing is to um, get closer to my subject and then we'll talk a little bit more about what we can do to make that subject leap out and of course at the end of this video I'll be putting two or three pictures on that, I've, uh, that I'm going to shoot here I've already shot one, I've got wet boots, I've been in the water uh, but that's no problem, I think you've got to get in and suffer for your art sometimes so um, I'm going to move closer and we'll move this video on and talk about composition Okay. So um, if you look behind me, you can now see that the stream is much bigger in the frame, so it becomes a focal point for this picture. And the stream leads us through the picture, and then we've got, if you look in the background, we've got a tree in the background, so that adds as a, um, a focal point in the background. So we've made much more of the stream, that looks much bigger and more dynamic, 
because we're closer to it and it leads us through the landscape and we've got a natural stopping point at the back with that tree which is set off to one side so the key thing for this composition really is getting close to our subject and by getting close we're exaggerating its size and we make it look bigger than it is in reality so this creates a really nice leading line through our picture um, now generally when you're shooting moving when you're photographing moving water you want it to be cloudy so the light's really soft and the contrast is low but if you look most of the stream is in shade anyway so the fact that it's sunny isn't a big problem and funny enough what it does also is as the sunlight comes through the trees it makes the light go a little bit green and that green is being picked up by the water and it looks really vibrant so in actual fact the fact that this um, water I'm shooting it when it's sunny is a good thing I think it works for this picture so I think it just goes to prove um, there's no hard and fast rules uh, in photography generally if you've got water and movement you want it to be cloudy but actually I think it works on a sunny day here um, and also I've set up the picture so I've got a little curve in this uh, stream so from over here it looks a bit looks a bit straight but by coming this side I'm shooting across the stream and it makes it into a little curved S shape so it adds a bit more interest so from over there where we were standing originally and looking at this scene didn't look great but by moving in close and making of discovering what that key element is you can make the most of that element and you can make a nice picture and I've already taken a couple of shots here actually and they look alright um, so I'm going to put them on the end of this video I'm not saying they're you know a wall winning stunning sort of huge grand vistas this is a more intimate um, type of photography but it doesn't make it uh, any less enjoyable or any less more interesting or any less artistic actually and in fact you have to work hard in woodlands so for this shot um, I've used the stream as my leading line and I've got that tree that one there in the background as a focal point that, um, that sort of finishes the picture off in the background um, I'm shooting with a reasonably big depth of field here I'm on f11 so my picture sharp from the front to the back um, I'm using a low ISO number because my camera's on a tripod so that's cool and I've also used a polarizing filter just to cut down the reflections a little bit so I love it here um, in actual fact this location is very dear to my heart because when my children were small there's a little bridge around the corner and we used to play poo sticks you know where you throw the sticks uh, on, under one side of the bridge and you wait for them to come out under the bridge to the other side and whoever stick comes out first is a winner so I've spent many many great times in this forest and um, it's a lovely little area and it's still giving me great enjoyment now because there's always changing um, compositions this dream changes from um, month to month actually so it's worth revisiting a location more than once and in fact I will probably do uh, another vlog here uh, in the autumn when all the autumn leaves are down on the floor and I think that's going to look really nice and if it snows again this year I'll probably come back um, and shoot it in the snow I just got bitten by a wood ant actually as well and they really hurt so um, the one thing I didn't put on today is insect repellent and I probably should have so uh, I'm going to um, take a few more pictures now play around with the compositions but I think um, I've got the shot in the bag already and um, it's certainly somewhere I'm going to revisit uh, later on in the year because it's close to home and uh, that's, that's nice for me and I, I don't think you should discount um, local locations because they generally, it's, you can visit them in all sorts of weather conditions you've got lots of opportunity to shoot these things uh, different times of the year, different weather conditions I haven't shot this here in the fog yet so I'd like to do that so there's lots of variety, I love travelling but with a local location you get the chance to shoot it lots of times and to really learn about that location and I think if nothing else about this video comes through I think it's about looking at the location and taking your time and looking for those key elements that you think are really going to work well so I think that's it for now I'm going to carry on taking photographs and um, I'm going to put some on the end of this uh, video thanks for listening um, if you like this video uh, please um, give it a like and subscribe to my channel and if you do want to subscribe to my channel if you can also press the um, little bell icon because that will then uh, notify you when I've got uh, an, uh, a new video coming up. So, 
Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm enjoying shooting here and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks very much for watching and listening.